I'm like speedrunning. Uh, you just never go for and for it casually, because you're gonna lose so much time just in any level in general. Because your splits that you've already gotten with whatever specific time, those are already like keen to you doing that. So it's like. If I would have went, so if I wouldn't have attempted that proxy at all, and I just went the normal way, I probably would have lost like 30 or 40 seconds if I would have just went the normal way instead of just trying the proxy. Yeah, but just like with anything, people have to like warm up. So normally, I don't know most people will do this. They'll just do a no, what's called a no reset run, but they'll just do a run, like regardless of how bad it is, just so they can like get warmed up. And that's what you just saw me do, is I just did a run just to do a run. So I can like be like, okay, I've played every planet at least a little bit. Cause just like with anything, you can you fall you can fall out of it easily. Like I haven't played in. I think this is the first day I've streamed this week, and it's like Thursday already. So yeah, I have not really streamed at all this week, and I haven't played this game. This is the first time I played this game this week. I hate the uh, quick select on this. If you switch weapons too fast, it'll replace your current weapon instead of the bottom one, which is like really annoying. Oh yeah, well I mean all speedrunning is like that. Like every person out there that speedruns has that, like the dedication to whatever game they're playing. Also, that happened again. Ugh. <laughs> My last PB was like really bad. So I'll always be saving like a lot of time earlier on here. But yeah, speedrunning is cool. I love it. They're definitely cool for people to watch that like really don't know what speedrunning is. No, PB is a uh, personal best. So that means the best I've ever beaten the game in. So that's what I run against. So you see at the bottom of the split says 3905. That's the fastest I've beaten this game. And so that's what you run against. This might not make it. Wow, that barely made it. Oh yeah, like 
it's really cool watching speedruns of uh of like childhood games and like watching people play like your favorite games fast glitching through is fast and solving the door i don't have the device to solve the door That's really annoying. I can't see. <laughs> so the skip you saw me do where I went into that like really crazy space looking room, that's called VR skip. And pretty much, it allows us to unlock Dax early. So if you've played this game before, you would know that Dax, you don't unlock until halfway through the game. And we're here on it as like the fourth level. So we pretty much just like skipped a shit ton of stuff, like right off the bat. I knew that was going to happen. I was completely facing the wrong direction. legal or illegal I'm, I'm assuming you mean like 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 for do you mean like glitches or do you mean like for runs if you mean like for runs uh pretty much like the rules are you have to do the run in one sitting and it has to be all at once so you can't like play segments and then put them together if that's what you meant also why do i have the swing shot out I don't need the swing shot anymore. But yeah, VR skip is like the most powerful skip in this game. No actual cheats. No, there's no like cheats or anything. Also, high death modes. Let's see if we can get this. No, dude! I never get that. I never get that skip. Damn. In terms of physics? I mean, anything is allowed, like in the run, in terms of glitches. There's no, like... There's only one category that restricts certain... Actually, yeah. So there's only one category that does restrict one specific glitch, and it's the category I'm playing right now. So this category is called NG Plus No QE. So it bans a huge skip called Quit Exploit. And what that pretty much is is that if you have a save file that has like a specific amount of bolts, and is at like a specific challenge mode, you can buy the master plan and the vendor. And if you don't know what the master plan is, the master plan is the item that you get at the end of crash site. So what you can do is that you can start a new game plus file and just buy the master plan and then just go to Quark's hideout, like right from the beginning. So you only have to play like four levels. The world record for that category is like eight minutes and 50 seconds, I think. And so that's technically the fastest you could beat this game, is like around 9 minutes. So this category bans buying the master plan out of the vendor. Which is like pretty much like the fun NG+. It's not technically glitchless, it's more like a, like a no major glitches kind of thing. Oh, 
It's going over your head. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh my god, this Yeah, it can also be hard to explain stuff. It's a lot easier typically if like someone doesn't know to just ask what something is instead of like someone trying to like explain everything because then like they'll just get confused. So yeah, if there's anything specific that you want to know, I can answer it. But yeah, it is hard to explain everything. No, I don't want that. I want the turret. Okay, we're good. Yeah, we're doing the levels pretty out of order. So typically, Marcadia is actually the third level you're supposed to go to. But we're going to it, what, like 6th or 7th? Like, we play this game in a very unintended order. Like, it can actually be pretty confusing for people seeing this. Like, wait, how are you going to Marcadia now? Damn, dude, I never get that first try. It's always second try, dude. I never get that shit first try. But yeah, that skip I just did right there is a proxy to get to the end of Arcadia. So now we're at the uh, we're at the arena part already. And then these we have to do normally. So like these are re these like missions. We have to do all of these missions. So this is like the slow part of the run, pretty much, where we just have to do the missions. Also, I did not see that shit. It's coming in. Oh, yeah, sorry. So like a proxy is uh, when you go up against a surface and then you like fly up into the air. So like every time you've seen me like run into a surface and then I get boosted like way up into the air, that's a proxy. And in this game they can be quite hard to do depending on like where it's at. Um, but pretty much what we do is that we have a weapon in our main hand and then our secondary needs to be the turret. And then what we do is... Um, we shoot, we charge, we shoot our main weapon, and then we swap to the turret at the same time. And then we throw a turret right when we hit the wall. And then we'll like fly up the wall. So that's how that works. Some of the stuff's kind of hard to explain, but yeah, that, that's how that works. Yeah, so on... The one that you just saw me do, that proxy is a little bit different than the other ones. The one that you saw me do against that railing, that is called a neutral proxy, which are like a little bit different than the ones where you fly in the, the air. So the, so the neutral proxy pretty much on that one on Arcadia, we're getting... We're pretty much getting like a sliding momentum from that rail, and then we're converting it into a long jump. Also, I miss this guy. Also, oh, hi, Ice Ussy. Is there a guy that's like alive? Oh my god, this guy. God damn it. That was not good.
Yeah, this is like the worst part of the run. Just because it's like really boring. You just do missions. And you have this two minute section where you just do nothing. Also, easiest trick in the game, for anyone didn't know, for this defend. Just grab onto this, and that's it. No nothing will be able to hit you. Anyone can do this one. This one's easy. Also, we're gonna lose, like, a lot of time on this level, because the fucking, uh... Because I messed up that turret section. One of the turrets dropped enemies, and I couldn't find the one that I was supposed to kill. So I lost a bunch of time on that. Hi Brody, how are you? We're uh, doing runs uh, and having them inevitably loot be dead to Boros and probably something stupid on command center. So yeah, the usual stuff. And we just li lost a lot of time on, like, Marcadia for no reason. It wasn't even to the proxy either. I couldn't find the right Hussy. Oh, you have a new Tussy in your school? That's cool. I like Ratchet. I don't know why Ratchet is so funny. Okay, time to get Ghost Ratchet for the next mission. So we die in the mud, and so now the game thinks we're dead. So because we're dead, all the collision on everything is gone, so we can go through walls. Ghost Russy, yeah, Ghost Russy is funny. Yeah, Ghost Ratchet. So it's where the game thinks you're dead, so all the collision uh, stops working, so you can like go through walls. We use that on that, that last section you just saw, where I was like going through walls. So you can do that whole section without getting the uh, reflector, or whatever it's called. So you can like beat that section like super fast. That's the only time in this run where you do Ghost Ratchet. In Rack 1, you do it like a a little bit more, but yeah, in this game, you only do it once, and it's right there. Because Ghost Ratchet works a little bit differently in this game. It also works on a timer as well, so it only is active for three minutes. So you have to go fast once you get it. Once you have it activated. On Friday, you're going to touch grass to get your PS5.
Oh, how do you begin to understand the fast way to do something? We have a Discord. We have a speedrunning Discord. Where people share all of their strats and ideas. That always happens, dude. I need to start doing the, uh, the other way for this. That was weird. Yeah, it's a team effort, yeah. Yeah, one person doesn't find everything. People find stuff, they post it in the Discord, people watch it, they learn how to do it, they put it in the run. Like, all the glitches are found by different people, and then you put them all together, and then you have the run. And then stuff gets slowly added over time. So like, as if, like if something gets discovered, then that'll get added into the run, and so on. Yep, yeah, it's pretty much a big team effort. It's a completely collaborative- speedrunning is a completely collaborative thing. You all run individually, but putting the actual, like, route together and everything is all, like, a team effort. There isn't, like, one person that does everything. Uh, that typically doesn't happen, Brody. Like, pretty much in any community, that doesn't happen. Just like with anything, there's, like, etiquette to it. So, like, it's looked down upon to, like, hide strats or whatever. So, yeah, normally people don't do that. And if they do, they pretty much just get banned from the community. But also it's kind of pointless as well, because like, if you find some crazy strat and you don't want to tell anyone, and then like you do a run with it and upload your run, I don't think people realize that like everyone's gonna see that run. Like, <laughs> like we all know, we all use the same website to post runs, so someone's gonna see it and be like, oh, look, he does this in his run. What's that? And then we're gonna find it. Nah, they'll, we'll pretty much know immediately, so yeah, that's why it's not really a- that's why I say it's, like, not really a thing. Like, hiding strats doesn't really exist. Because eventually someone will find it, or someone will use it in their run. Also, this is a really bad Talos. I need to get, like... Uh, I need to, like, practice Talos a lot. I need to get Rackman working, though, so I can, like, save state here, so I don't have to, like, play the Clank level over and over again. Because you can't really practice this that efficiently. Okay, we're gonna lose a, we're gonna lose a lot of time here. What's Rackman? It's an application that our community created to uh, make save states for the original games. Oh my god, that was terrible. Proxy has been giving me trouble. This proxy is an instance of one of the ones that works differently than the other ones. 
Just like the one on Koros, that this one's also like different than the other ones. Like the way you do it's different. But that one isn't as hard, I just am terrible at it. <laughs> Strat with the clip. Yeah, I've been doing the clip. It's inconsistent as hell though, but I need a better setup for it, so. did get it pretty fast there. Oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can find about like speed running. There's an entire video about the history of Up Your Arsenal speedrunning. I think uh, Zem92 made a video about it. So if you look up on YouTube, like, Zem92... Or no, I think it was Ricky, right? Speed Docs? Yeah. It's one of those YouTube channels. Someone can, like, direct you to it. But there's a video on, like, the entire history of, like, this game. Like, how all the glitches got found and everything. It's a really good video. Yeah, there's the video. Really good video. Yeah, there's a there's a couple of videos made on Ratchet speedrunning, mainly by like our community members. They're very interesting videos and they're very well put together. God damn it. That was dumb. So how that works is that, um, so if you notice I didn't have VidComic 2, so there's a glitch you can do where you can auto-complete 3 and 4 without having 2. I typically collect 2 because I hate doing the, the skip for it, but pretty much you can open the passwords menu which is like really cool and you can like use that to skip it. Yeah, we're going to lose time. That was almost tragic. Please, game. How many games do people usually speedrun? It depends on the kind of person you are. Some people can play and speedrun multiple games, some people can't. 
It just depends on who you are. Some people like to be focused on one game. Some like to focus on a lot of games. Me, personally, I've speedrun all the games in the series, except for one of them. Yeah, a lot of this time loss is because of uh, the password menu skip. Yeah, I've speedrun stuff outside the series. When I first started speedrunning, I speedrun stuff outside of the series. Yeah, rack games are normally pretty nice to get into, but the thing about them is that they have a really high skill ceiling, which makes them really fun to get better at. So pretty much like the entry is really like friendly, but then there's like a huge like skill gap. So like as you get better, there's like more and more and more uh, that you have to know. That almost didn't make it. I was, like, standing in a really weird spot. Yeah, that's the big thing about the original games, is the movement is really hard to pick up on. A lot of buttons. <laughs> a lot, a lot of buttons for a lot of the movement. The most button-intensive Ratchet game is the first one. What is that long jump move chain called? Uh, you mean like with the whip? If you mean like with the whip and then you do a long jump, that we call those whip jumps. We're pretty much using the plasma whip to do a long jump and we get like a lot of distance. So like what I just did right there, that's a whip jump. No way, dude. Game. Yeah, those are the whip jumps. There's four to sing moves. Uh, uh, I don't know how many there are. <laughs> There's a bunch. There's an, a variation of a whip jump you can do called an insta whip, which you actually saw me do an on crash site. Oh no, that sucks. And you saw where like I swung the whip instantly and then did like a side flip? That's called an insta whip, which is another speedrun tech move. That was bad. Yep, I'll see you, Ivan. Also, we're on chorus. I'm gonna focus. Uh, I don't know if I'll be in PC like on Halloween. I don't know if I'll be busy during that day.
what am I doing? <laughs> Command center got me like. Oh my god. Why? Bro. Why? Uh, that whip jump, dude. It's so bad. And I got that first try as well. Oh, this is sad. Okay, game. Ugh. This is weird. I don't know what this is going to be actually because I don't act I don't even know how bad or good my command center was in my PB if I'm being quite honest. So, I don't know how good this will be or if I'll lose a lot a lot, a lot of time. Uh, I need this out. Whew. Dude, we lost 50 seconds. Fuck. Dude, I, I'm never good at command center. But we did it! We got a, we got a good PB. 36? No, it's 37. I could have been a 36. If I didn't bork up command center so hard. Next is 36? Yeah, of course. I'm not sure how many long loads I got during that run as well. <laughs> Bean, I lost 50. Did you, did you look at, look at uh, Command Center? I lost 50 seconds. On. Uh, command center. That's so typical of me to lose 50 seconds on command center. I always die. Like, I'm like literally, I always die on command center. It doesn't matter how much I practice that level. Yeah, this could have been a 36 if I wouldn't have died on command center. 
Agent Clank. Jetzt haben Sie kein Glück mehr. <lacht> es wird langsam Zeit, sich zu verabschieden. <lacht> Ihre Tricks helfen Ihnen diesmal nicht, Agent Clank. Auf diesen Moment habe ich lange. I actually do want to look at something on Command Center. Like also, Mr. Bean, did you see we did the? Uh... I know that you sent me the video of the blind jump, but I'm not gonna lie, I learned the proxy instead. <laughs> so I did the proxy in this run, the, the proxy off the uh, the flip up turret. <laughs> yeah, this is probably like a 37, 30 probably or something. I didn't count my long loads, but that's probably what it is. Delussi run. I mean, I'll have to play Delussi again at some point. See, my thing is I don't like... I don't play the originals that much. So that's why I kind of want to play Ouya a lot more. Because I, I, I enjoy this run. It's fun. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna keep streaming. Um, let's see. Oh my god, guys, we passed the Sag Beam. That means we're gonna go into Discord, and we're gonna go into General and be like, Oh my god, guess what? I was playing Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal, and I passed the Sag Beam in Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal. Roll the run die? Yeah, command center. Yeah. Command center sucks. Also, if no one understands what I mean when I say that, I'm memeing on someone. I'm memeing on Ramiro because he did that and it was like really cringe. There was a, a quest for booty run. He like he beat Killa's like three like a run that Killa did like four years ago. He ran the game for like three days. And like Ramiro's first ever QFB run, he passed it by like, I don't know, like 30 seconds or something. And so he goes into general in the rack discord and he's like, he's like, I'm proud to say that I passed kill a Lombax in quest for booty. And everyone was like, okay. <laughs> and like, it was the most out of pocket thing I've ever seen. Like it was, it was dumb. So I, I like memeing on it now every time I pass someone. Don't brag. <laughs> no, don't worry, I won't. But yeah, command center losing 50 seconds is like the, the usual shit. So. Uh... Where did I start losing a lot of time? Oh yeah, command center. <laughs> Everything was pretty much good. Oh yeah! Lost some time on Kerwan as well. Wait, let me type down where this PB was at, just so I don't forgore. It was only an hour and 34 minutes into the stream. I, okay, can we be aware that I'm tired as shit. Like, I could pass out at any moment, and I literally proclaim to you all that there's no way I'm gonna get a PB today, and I just dropped like a 37. <laughs> Does that kind of prove I could be like, I could be so fucked up, but like, I could still, I could still do a run though. <laughs> like, I could still get a good run. 
I just need to warm up and then I can get a good run. Like I think the last run I did, the last run I did was really bad. And then second run, this is this is my second run of the day. We got Koros. Oh wait, we got a Koros gold actually. So I got Koros. I got Koros proxy first try. Got the whip jump first try. Yeah, Koros was really good. This is the moment now where Bean is like, have fun running against that Koros. Because that Koros, if anyone saw that Koros, it was fucking crazy. Like, it was really good. <laughs> What's next that we have to learn, guys? Oh yeah, Nephi 1 cycle. Um, uh, Metropolis proxy. 